Good morning, America. This is Dr. Cherie, your friend from the arid zone. And as always, my public statement, I am the first cosmic cop teaching humanity to understand God, cosmic design, Jesus, cosmic ministry, so that you can live a long and safe life. All right, today is going to be, or oh, again, like always, uh, educational, interesting video, because I'm offering the SOS to the world deadly window for October. And the dates are one, two, three, four. You know, it's, it's before or after, but it's the main energy is on those dates. So you've been warned, be careful, especially if you're a cop. Talking about the police, you've got a few things to say. Okay, so first, remember I work like Nostradamus using obvious quatrain and obvious keywords because I do not have to fear the French Inquisition and being hanged, burnt and drowned, being called a witch. Okay, the world has grown a little bit since then. Keywords are very obvious. Okay, so there are already uh, two of those keywords are shining. One is famous death and the other one is police brutality is in the news. All right, so keep attention, keep reading, avoid large gatherings, especially at night, okay? Because the reptilians are after the police, government official, children and teens. Be ready because crime against the police and the general public will be so terrible that it will seem that you have never experienced this type of news before. I mean, for a guy to come, for example, with a prediction that I made of John Wells, and then shoot a cop in his own patrol car, that tells you that my visions are pretty real. All right, be careful what you say, be careful what you do during these windows, because everything you say or do will follow you for the rest of your life. It's a wake-up call at large for a hell of a lot of people. A lot of people in high places will lose their job in position because of the reptilious effect. That their emotions will be so high, they will talk their head off and lose their position. And through karma, many of them will go down the drain because during these windows, secrets of money and sex come to light. This is the red carpet of the reptilians. So if you're a cop or no cop, you better. You better share that newsletter or that video for that matter. Again, if you read Caravan to Midnight, John Wells, and Dr. Cherry Part 1 and 2, in sudden enough, the prediction of a police officer being assassinated, literally, that I made on this show on September the 14th came to pass soon after. Only if you read it and watch the video will you understand me and will you agree with me. Again, it seemed that the shocking window producing unusual news and weird video like the sheer little flips out of his pants <laughs> on top of 70,000 people fan is not something that happened every day, but okay, it's the window that I had, shocking news, weird news, okay, and, and explosion. It's an hour over. We are surely moving into this retronic deadly window. Remember the red carpet of the reptilians? And that would always involve the police being killed or killing or abusing people. Today in the news, three Baton Rouge police officers are arrested amid investigation into torture or warehouse case. Remember, secrets comes to light during those windows. There's nothing that you can keep secret when Pluto is in charge. Again, the obvious keywords used for this Britonic window above mentioned famous death. And today we had Senator died Feinstein. She died at 90 years old. God bless her soul. She did a really good job for the U.S. democracy. She did a good job for us all. And now she is in paradise. All right. Now, only obvious idiots will deny the reality of my UFO predictive legacy because they just don't read. They just assume and they bash me. God thinks they are a minority. Uh, last night, three wonderful cops came to my house to check on my video security footage who caught a crime being committed on my next door neighbor. As soon as the stone car hit the wall, and I got to correct that, and created a big explosion. As mentioned, we were in a shocking explosive window. My security light in front of my house went on, and we all saw on tape 
what happened in great detail. Believe me, those cops are really smart. One was a Pisces, one was a Virgo, and the other one um, was a Cancer Leo. So basically, we start to discuss. They were in my house, all right? So we had a wonderful discussion where I explained to them the type of work I was doing and how it could help the police. Of course, at the beginning, they thought I was a psychic. And also they mingle me with psychic. I say, wait, 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 wait a minute. No, 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 I'm not a psychic. I'm an astro psychologist. So I had to explain from A to Z what I was doing, what happened to me, the FBI coming to my house twice because I give exact date of terrorist attacks, uh, prediction of Ian, Hurricane Andrew, uh, Hurricane Katrina, and God knows what, 911, we discuss all this good stuff. And at the end, I think I got the trust of that beautiful lady, and she gave me a telephone number to lecture for my local police, and hopefully I'll be able to help them, make them understand the importance of becoming cosmic conscious, because um, all police officers in their car, they have technology that can use my software, that can use my wisdom, make them aware if they are dealing with a reptilian infected killer or a law obedient US citizen. That's a very difference for them to come home or not. I give them that possibility. So hopefully, okay, as I said, I always wanted to help the police. And that telephone number was my foot in the door. And again, at the subconscious level, I made a wish. And you know, the future is the reincarnation of the thought. And it did the job. Okay, because I teach my students there are no accidents in life, only subtle cosmic circumstances at work that are designed to further all your wishes or force you to pay karma. That's why the stars are lining to push you up or to drag you down, depending on who you work with, the draconis or the reptilians. Okay, well, you know the situation. And if you're not there, well, go to drcherry.com and watch the video on UFOs and see who you are slaving for or who you are blessed for. There you go. Now, let's see. It's very, very important for you to realize, my friend, okay, that this current window is one of the most obvious windows of all the windows that I offer. I offer three windows, okay? I am not a psychic, I don't predict it, okay? I just understand the cosmic language, the aeroglyphs, God cosmic design, and then trying to make sense to why very specific news tend to happen during a very specific period. So there are three windows, okay? You have a, today, a deadly plutonic window that will touch the police directly. Remember last time I was on the radio, I said to John, a cop's gonna be killed. Next thing you know, sudden enough, we have realized how deeply, deeply infected and ignorant our society is. And now using drugs and alcohol uh, is definitely going to help the reptilians effect, which means you're not going to be yourself. The reptilians will hijack your body, your mind, and your soul, make you depressed, make you crazy, make you lose zest for life, and get rid of your hope, and you serious depression, and you have to beat all those. What are you going to do? You're going to take more drugs that are going to mess up an already disturbed and balanced brain. The next thing you know, you're going to commit suicide, or you're going to get a gun, and you're going to kill somebody. And this is what happened in my vision. When this window is in charge, you cannot deny what's going to happen. I'm warning you. This is the energy of the reptilians. They reside on Pluto, the father planet in our solar system. Okay, at the verge of our solar system, there is Pluto. And long time ago, I was discussing and battling with a bunch of critical agnostic scientists, the idiots, educated idiots, to say more. Okay, telling them that Pluto was a planet. I was well ahead of them. When technology took over, they finally realized that Pluto is a planet. It doesn't mean they're going to uh, apologize, of course. Okay, And then when you give so much power to somebody like Neil deGrasse, who has absolutely no idea what astrology is all about, who has no idea of what UFOs are all about, when you get someone like this, who is the last person to discuss the spirits, to discuss the UFO, to discuss this incredible uh, um, phenomenon that we are all witnessing coming more and more reality, 
or astrology for that matter. Do you know what he says? He says one day, you know, he bought some, he's a Libra. Libra in Capricorn by God's will, the negative sign, okay, negative Libra, negative Capricorn by God's will, uh, on in an addictive personality. So he is a pothead from hell. He is a pothead from hell, okay? And he is so rational, so logical, so earthy that he cannot enter the archetypal realm of supracosmic consciousness. He is designed to see life through his five limited human rational senses. Me, I'm using the third eye. I'm using the cosmic code. I'm using the archetypal realm of supracosmic consciousness. So this supposed to be very educated leader of the mind is an idiot from hell. You get it from Dr. Cherry, because I know who he is. He has no clue who I am. And I've challenged him and so many others over the years, because he probably, over the years, landed on one of my videos. Oh, his supporters, you know, trying to sue me okay, for defamation or whatever it is. I, I challenged him so many times to see me, to, to have a discussion together on television, where I would give him very specific dates. Come, so I'm going to kill, you're going to have an earthquake up of 6.0. And when it happened, because it happened all the time, it's mathematics, not magic. It's mathematics, okay? Then it work. In relationship to those beautiful cops yesterday who came to my um, to my house, I tried to explain that every police officer has access to technology in their car. That means they can use my software. They can be educated. And again, as I said, realize the difference between a low obedient citizen like me, like you, or a killer. This is hanging out. They are completely red teams infected, and they would kill him. So that is so priceless. So if you know someone that is a cop, if you know someone that is in tow the police or the FBI or Secret Service, now give them that video and let them call you a cuckoo, like they have been called a cuckoo all my life. <laughs> but there is a big difference between education and intelligence or ingenuity. That's what I'm trying to say. And giving power and constant a celebrity study and then a performance on television to people like Neil deGrasse is not helping you at all. All right, you know my philosophy. Okay, so be careful what this window is going to do. It's going to kill people. It's going to offer you a wake up call. Okay, you're going to realize I'm real. It's going to, anything you do or say today, today, anything that you do or say today will follow you for the rest of your life, for good or for worse. Okay. So all the readings I'm going to do today for some people, okay, and not divulge your name, okay, I got to keep privacy. Okay? My work will affect them for the rest of their life. Either they're going to turn into the eagle, okay, they will, because I'm going to guide them there. But there's no way that they're going to stay at the same plane. They have to gain cosmic consciousness. So if you need me, if you feel you are infected, depressed, you have lost hopes, you have no direction, you don't know where you are. If you're not happy, it's because you do not know the gifts that God gave you that are written in life. Let me take care of you. I'm a soul doctor. A soul doctor means that I understand and respect the wise words of the father of medicine said, you cannot call yourself a doctor or a physician if you do not study astrology. Astrology is you. You are the essence of all those planets. You are the end result of a magnificent design created by God. Creation. You have been made in the image of God. It's your decision to take a chance. You're not taking the chance on me. Because I know what I'm talking about. Well, stay where you're at. Meantime, be cautious. You have been warned. Okay? You have been warned. Watch the news. Sex. Secret. Famous death, police news, drama, supreme wealth, everything that is under the blanket will come to light. Energy of the darkness, the repugnant sadness, the infection, the poison, raising from the stinger of the Scorpio into the majestuous eagle of the Zodiac. That is your choice. Because Wherever you are in this big planet, on this big world, whatever sun sign, rising moon, or, or dragon you own, part of God in you is stronger than the stars. So if you want to be born again into the light, here I am. Until then, God bless all of you. Cautious, you have been born.